This is Radio Paul, and in this episode, I'm going to talk about a post that was recently put on Why We Protest. I believe it's the IAS Magazine's issue 125, and their claim that crime has dropped in Colombia by 50% since the introduction of the Way to Happiness booklet. Well, you know, they have some pictures in their magazine, and these pictures are clearly photoshopped, and I'm going to be deconstructing the photographs here. Uh, and again, you know, this just shows how absolutely dead and devoid Scientology is of morality and of ethics. The fact that they would need to stoop to photograph, photoshopping a photograph. But this isn't the first time that Scientology has done this. However, we're going to focus just on this photo. The first thing I want you to pay attention to are how the thumbs on some of these booklets are kind of like whittled down to needlepoint. No one's thumb is that ridiculously uh, narrow. Also, the books are all facing either upright or they're being held by the, by the bind. None of the books are facing backwards, upside down, uh, or by where the where the book opens, uh, there's a universal kind of way they're being held here, which is consistent, and the laws of probability just don't allow for that. Also, all the hands of these people are reaching out all the way to the rear. Again, people would actually reach for a book as it was making its way back to them. This photograph is reflective of. Photographs you can find all over the internet of sports events or political events. And if we examine this photo very carefully, we see in the bottom right the national colors of Colombia. Yellow, blue, and red. That would indicate, especially with the soldiers there, that this was some type of a political event taking place. We see a person with her cell phone flipped open, videotaping uh, possibly a politician or a speaker. There are bubbles flying around. So this would appear to be some type of a, a pro-political event for whatever candidate these people were supporting. Um, we have a little devil horns in the background. I don't know, was Tori Magoo at this event by any chance? So there are a lot of things that are going on here uh, that indicate... A large crowd of people cheering or hooraying. I also see like a, a kind of like a like a little devil sign with the fingers, which if you look at other pictures, kind of going back throughout the years, is a political sign. Um, you know, and, and obviously it doesn't mean the devil to them. Um, I think that you know if we take a look at the photograph and we start like adding special effects to it. Um, you know, I added a proc amp and adjusted one control on it, and we can kind of see that the lighting on the books is even. It's There's no difference in the light hitting the books. It's the same source, it's the same book used over and over and over. Uh, it would fall off slightly if it was genuinely being held at different angles. That's another thing. None of these books are held at angles which are not facing the camera. They're not held, like, say, at a 45 degrees angle where you only kind of see a slit. You know, what, again, we're seeing is the front cover of these books in every hand. Adding a invert, which is essentially a negative effect, we can see that these books stand out from everything else in the photograph. Um, now, that by itself doesn't really mean a whole lot per se, except to say that they're not consistent with the lighting and the color kind of spectrum of everything else in the photograph. There'd be some similarity, but they're popping out. 